Can you figure out who I am? I study biology and have a passion for animals. I have field craft skills which include camouflage and land and water navigation. My job requires a lot of patience and looking for the right moment. My main tool is my camera and I have a variety of different lenses. I snap pictures of things in motion. Who am I? A wildlife photographer. What's a chimpanzee's favorite ice cream? I don't know, what? Mint chocolate chimp. Get it like a monkey chimp and chocolate oh. chip? Oh. Hey, Lala, why did the chicken cross the road? Did it get to the other side? It seems like an excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs> Where does a polar bear keep all its money? A snowbank. Hey, Mia. What? Why did the wolf cross the street? Oh, not again. To get to the other side? No, he was chasing the chicken. Oh. Hey, Alyssa. Why didn't the boy trust the tiger? I don't know. He thought he was a lion. <laughs> get it, get it? <laughs> Make it. We will be making dog biscuits for your dog. These are the ingredients. We have chicken bouillon cubes, dry yeast, and warm water. Also non-fat powdered milk and mashed carrots. We also have some white flour and some wheat flour. First, we're gonna pour warm water into this big bowl. And then we put some dry, dry yeast, yeast inside of there. And then you put some the bouillon cubes inside of the, the warm water. Can I see what it looks like? It, it, it looks like, um, it kind of looks like chicken noodle soup. Yeah. And now we have to mix it in till it all dissolves. Now we're gonna use the mashed carrots and pour them into this bowl. I think that's good. The non-fat powdered milk. Then we get the white flour. Pour that in there. Oh, yep. And the wheat flour. And now we're gonna pour the powdery stuff into the chicken noodle soup, AKA the yeast and water and the chicken bouillon cubes. And we mashed it into a ball. And now we're going to roll it on a rolling pin with a uh, rolling sheet. So Amanda, can you help me out with that? Of course I can. And we're gonna use our bone cookie cutter. And you keep on doing that until you have whatever amount of dog biscuits you want. So, we put all the dog biscuits on the tray, then you cover it with plastic, and then you let it sit in a warm place for about an hour, so the yeast can make the dog biscuit rise. After that, you put the dog biscuits in the oven for about um, 45 to one hour, put it in there at 325 degrees, and then they'll look like this. Ostriches are the world's largest bird. Ostrich eggs are also larger than any other bird eggs. They measure about 16 inches long and weigh about three pounds. That equals about two dozen chicken eggs. Ostriches have three stomachs, but they don't have any teeth, which makes it hard to break down food. Ostriches swallow pebbles to help grind their food. An adult ostrich carries about two pounds of stones in its stomach. Even with stones in their stomach, ostriches can spread over 45 miles per hour, covering up to 16 feet in one single stride. Ostriches' eyes are actually larger than their brains. Pretty cool, huh? Brain play. Name something a cat would know that you do not know. They know how to jump up really high without falling off 
and I would fall off if I jumped up like onto a railing. Well, a cat would know how to use a litter box and what cat food tastes like. They would know how to survive in the wild. A cat would know really how to, I guess, think ahead. Like if it wants to jump up onto a wall really qu quick because a dog's chasing it, it would know how to do that in advance. If I don't know, how am I supposed to say it? <laughs> you figure out who I am? I use science and biology every day, so I had to study a lot in school. I wear a uniform. I can treat injuries and diseases. I like to give out treats. I don't work with humans. Who am I? A veterinarian! What does the letter A have in common with the flower? They both have bees coming after them. What happened to the frog that parked illegally? He got towed! <laughs> what is the potato's least favorite day? Friday! Sizzle, 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 sizzle! What time did the duck wake up this morning? At the quack of dawn. <laughs> hey Sam, why can't your nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> hey, you need that one! An octopus can be anywhere from two inches to 18 feet long. The giant Pacific octopus has eight tentacles and can have over 2,000 suction cups. An octopus can change the texture and color of their skin to blend in with the environment around them. If an octopus is attacked and a predator grabs one of its tentacles, it will let the tentacle go so it can escape and a new one will grow and replace it. Octopuses have three hearts, all of which are located in its head. Pretty cool, huh? Make it! Today we're gonna make Critter gift bags. And our materials are gift bag, construction paper, popsicle sticks, glue, googly eyes, scissors, markers, and pencils. I think we should make a giraffe. Okay. We have brown construction yeah. paper, which we can make the spots with. Maybe we should fill it in with like um, a lighter brown. Do you think we yeah. should name it? Yeah, that would work. Now okay. I think we should start so gluing that. the spots on. Do we need any ears, you think? Yeah, that would be great. What color? Um, probably yellow to match the head. Now I'm gonna mm -hmm. glue them yeah. on. Look, if you put the mane to it, it actually looks like a real giraffe. Oh cool, it looks like there's actually hair. Well, I think we should put a popsicle stick on the back because it'll be all flimsy. It actually does look actually cool with one eye because it looks like he's looking sideways. Yeah. Or something like that. We should put it on the side so its head can stick out. Whoa, look at that. That's oh, awesome. It looks, looks so, so cool. cute and cool. And now so we need to make legs. Okay. So long brown legs. Yes. How should we put on the legs? Well, I think we should put two on the back for the back legs and two on the front for the front leg. That one's glued on. So let's open and it up. Open the bag. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Cool. And now we have our giraffe bag. Brain play. Do any animals wear shoes? Why or why not? Some do. They wear shoes so they can protect their feet because they're too soft. Well, I think horses kind of wear shoes. I mean, they wear horseshoes and they have their hooves. No, because they don't need shoes and they we probably don't make shoes that would fit them. <laughs> None wear shoes because if you put them on an animal, the animal wouldn't like it and it would kick you with shoes, which would be even hard and it would hurt even more because they'd still have the shoes on. Mm -hmm. 